Hello, this video that I'm doing is on a uh, collection of applications that allow this one application, FX File Explorer, um, which is a file managing uh, app. Um, this is the main application, but in order for it to um, be able to be utilized with all of its features, um, there have to be some other um, applications that are downloaded uh, with it, which I can scroll down and show you. Um, one of them is a File Explorer root add-on, and I can show you that there. Um, and that allows you to gain root access to your um, files in the root of your phone if you're rooted. And then this second one here is called the File Explorer uh, Plus add-on. And this actually is like a key. Um, so this is a paid app, but the File Explorer, uh, File Manager itself is free and the root um, helper is free. Um, there's also a um, Wi-Fi portion that you can install if you're into um, uploading wirelessly your um, or transferring wirelessly from your phone to your computer files. You can actually, there's a another uh, Wi-Fi portion of the app. Um, I've used it before. Uh, and it creates a web address and uh, you put uh, and then you uh, a web address and a password you put the web address in to the computer website and the password and you gain access to all the files that are on your phone um, wirelessly to um, download them uploading didn't go so well uh, when I tried it but they may have done some updates since then it was probably about two years ago I've been using this file explorer um, for quite some time um, and it's not the only one I use but it I use this probably 80% of the time um, because it just it does so much so um, let's go ahead and we can actually get into the app so um, we can go to right here. So this is the home screen. Of course, this app is also customizable. So um, it has a tutorial if you go here to show you how to use it. Um, and uh, you can mount and eject the SD card as needed. Um, it has settings so you can uh, do the appearance and themes. Um, which I actually like mine to be dark. Um, so you can do, uh, I do the translucent dark so you can still see my um, uh, wallpaper behind it. Um, the icon set, of course, is uh, the default, but you have to install more icons in order to change them. Um, trim color, you know, I always like pink menu style um, you can change that I like it just the way that it is you can change what it does in portrait or uh, landscape selection op options yes I like to see my selections and um, inline path bar animations uh, enlarge uh, navigation all of these you can even do a custom wallpaper um, I like to dim the wallpaper. Well, you have to. Um, no, I don't think you have to. Yeah, you can do 100%. But, yeah, I like to dim my wallpaper some so that um, it makes the icons on the screen pop more to me. Uh, I don't want a custom wallpaper. And so you go back, and there you have it. So it's dark. Um... But I don't see the translucent part. So let's see. Theme. 
translucent dark. Stem the wallpaper. See, maybe. There we go. So it's dark translucent and there's the wallpaper showing through. So this is what um, it looks like when you open it. If uh, So this is, you know, customizable very much so. Um, we can go into the settings and I actually would like it to be just a little, just a little, um, no, that's not the trim. Just a little darker, so let's try 60% darker. All right, there we go. Actually changes the color um, when it's a little darker. Okay, and then you have these um, bookmarks that you can go directly into without having to um, search it. So you can just click download and it goes right into your downloads. Um, same thing for documents. My documents are empty though. Um, this is for the system. So you go into that and um, this is everything that is making your phone function right there. Um, you go into system root and this is actually where you can change things. So the other one was just so you can look into the system root, system root. Um, but this is actually where you can change it. So you get this uh, notification. You're about to perform op operations as a root user. Making incorrect modifications may cause the device to become unstable or entirely non-functional. Um, and in order to use that, um, you have to say, okay, and um, you can now change anything. You can go into your apps and change them. Um, one thing I haven't managed to be able to do with Root is get rid of my system apps. Um, I went in here and deleted them and turned the phone off, turned it back on, and the apps came right back. So with this new uh, Android 4.4.2 um, rooted system, I'm not able to get rid of the bloatware, um, which is one of the main reasons why I wanted to, and I used I used to use this file browser for that, um, along with uh, Titanium Backup, um, because some applications are built into the ROM, um, but they're just applications, and then some are system applications, which are easier to um, to get rid of in your rooted uh, file browser. Um, Another thing is it goes right into your images from here, your music, your video. So there's shortcuts so that you don't have to, for instance, just go into your main storage and then search for it. Um, but I tend to just do that um, because I'm just so accustomed to it. But they do have these shortcuts here. Um, uh, the Bluetooth and then this is the network that I was talking about here where you can um, upload uh, there's cloud storage available. Um, I don't know how that works. I've never used it. They have cleaning tools in here. And then they have add-ons. Um, and they are showing you here what the add-ons on are and what they do. Um, that's the root. And uh, we go into, they also have help. Um, we go into the help and I mean this file browser is great um, one of the things I really like about it is um, how easy it is to use so let's say for instance I have this you hold anything down and it gives you um, selection op options so you can press select items and that allows you to select multiple items right um, you hold it down and you can archive, you can make a zip file um, inside of this FX browser. Um, so, and then you can tell it what kind of zip you want. 
if you want it to be a zip, uh, a zip, a S encrypted, a tar, a bit zip, uh, a tar no compression, a G zip, a B zip two, a seven zip. Um, there's all these different uh, ways that you can um, archive it. And sometimes I have to use that if I have a few um, items that I want to upload to my uh, drive, my cloud drive. Um, most of the time, the only way you can upload or a folder, if I'm trying to upload a folder, is I have to make it into a zip first. So let's hold that down. Um, you can rename. So you can go into it and change the name of um, the folder. I'll just change it to raw. And it moved in the folder because it's alphabetical order. So it went from the top um, down to the bottom because I named it raw. Um, of course, you can cut, you can copy. Um, of course, you can't copy within the same folder because when it copies it copies it with the exact same name it doesn't do like your computer where it adds a one or two to it um so if you want to copy it gives it you see up here it gave it a uh, clipboard so you can't just go paste it's going to tell you overwrite it or merge or skip it uh, and then it's going to give you an error report because it wasn't able to copy it so if you want to copy and you want to um, have a copy two copies of the same thing you're gonna have to um, paste it somewhere else and then rename it um, and let's call it new and then you can be able to Cut and move. Going back to downloads. And then paste it there. Um, and so now you have two of the same, but they can't have the same name. Or you could have named it new one, um, new two, like um, the computer does. And here you have, so let's go ahead and delete. I like the way, oh no, let's try to share first. Uh, before we get rid of them. Uh, oh, the details. I like the details of what you download. Um, it tells you how big they are. It tells you when you um, put it on your um, phone, when it was downloaded. If it's a picture, it tells you the pixels. If it's an application, it tells you the size of the application. Um, it really gives you a lot of details when you um, press that uh, detail for the specific um, either app or download that you have inside of your folder. Um, you can choose open with, which I like, um, because you can choose different programs. Like say for instance, since it's a picture, um, you may have two or three different galleries. Um, there's an image viewer inside of X FX, there's a text viewer, text editor. So these things come standard inside of the FX file browser. Um, and then um, because I have a different file browser, it has a viewer in it, or you can just do it inside of the gallery. So these are things that you can choose um, when you're opening things inside. If you had programs like say, for instance, if this was um, a PDF, I don't think I have a PDF, but if, if I had a PDF and I chose the PDF, I would be able to get um, office programs like uh, Polaris office would be an option um, Kindle fi uh, Kindle um, as a reader it would give me an option and then I have another application that reads PDFs called significant signature capture um, so they would be options for me um, so I mean it pretty much does it even adds bookmarks which I have never used that as well so I'm not really sure how that works um, and then if you want to delete I really like how they do the delete because you delete it and then it tells you what it's going to delete and then you have to check this box here and then press delete in order for it to be finally deleted and you have to do the same thing when you have multiples if you want to select more than one thing to delete 
and then you come here to the three squares at the uh, upper right corner and you have to press uh, delete or when you're selecting it then gives you once you select one if you click those three squares at the top it then gives you the option to select all so that's something that's there but it's not available to you right away like you would think that it would be in this list but you have to do um, select items first and then you're able to select all so there's two steps to uh, selecting all and you come here and select the other one and then you press delete you check it and they're deleted so um, this is a FX file browser and um, it is my favorite my personal favorite file browser um, I like how big the icons are in the phone um, I like I think it's very user friendly I, I think the user interface is very easy um, I like the fact that it allows me to get root um, and not only get root on my um, in my file browser but alter things within uh, the system um, because one of the things with uh, clockwork mod is that it does a uh, backup now in the system root so if you wanted to um, delete see he's asking me the authorization again so let's say for instance I wanted to delete um, something that's on the root of my phone I would have to go here and you see clockwork mod is here so it's empty because I'm, I'm using um, TWRP currently so my uh, clockwork mods are on the drive um, on my cloud drive but um, my backups are on the cloud drive but if I wanted to alter that this file browser allows me to and not every file browser um, does so uh, I hope that this video helps someone and thank you for watching Bye-bye.